So preseason one has wrapped up, and we've talked about the big quarterbacks, Bryce Young, Anthony Richardson, C.J. Stroud, Will Levis, and talk about their unimpressive starts. You know, to put in better, you know, better words of that, struggling. And we've been focused on that, but I don't think we've been focused on a quarterback for the polar opposite. Someone that has really just blew up on the NFL scene, and I'm sure a lot of you have heard of him by now, but if you haven't, it is the fifth round pick from the Cleveland Browns, uh, Dorian Thompson Robinson. And you see on the screen how I have my uh, fan nation talking about viewing uh, Thompson Robinson as a security blanket for the Cleveland Browns behind Deshaun Watson. You see here, you scroll down, it just appears that quarterback Dorian Thompson Robinson is a security blanket this team needs. In the preseason, Cleveland Browns do not have a starting quarterback competition like some other teams do. Yes, Sean Watson is going to be a starter, and there's no question about that moving forward. DTR brings above average arm talent and the ability to move outside the pocket and run plus uh, great competitive toughness. He played for head coach Chip Kelly at UCLA and bringing the elite offense mindset to the Cleveland Browns they had in college. Another move the Browns made by hiring uh, Bill Musgrave as a senior offensive assistant someone who's coached under Kelly back in Philadelphia with the Eagles. I don't want to get too much into it because it, it is talking to them about more viewing Robin, uh, Thompson Robinson as a, as a security blanket, but I want to go to a step further. Maybe this is me kind of, you know, jumping the gun, overreacting on this. Is there a chance uh, Dorian Thompson Robinson could be a potential NFL starter in the NFL? I mean, I get he's playing against second, third string team guys, but you look at the two games he's played in. Now, mind you, the Cleveland Browns do have an, had an extra preseason game, so technically this is preseason game two, even though it's week one. They played in the Hall of Fame game. I'm going to read the stats out for you. In the Hall of Fame game against the Jets, where they won 21-16, he went for 8 for 11, 82 yards, one touchdown, had six carries for 36 yards, a 72% completion percentage. And if we switch over to preseason week one, or they're technically game two, they lost to the Washington Commanders 17 to 15, but in that game, he went 9 for 10, 102 yards, one touchdown, three carries for 11 yards, or a 90% completion percentage. And if you, for the completion percentage, if you average it out, if I did do that right, that averages to 81%, which is unbelievable. Even the second game, 90% it is, is phenomenal. And he's, he's shown, I don't want to say greatness, but he's shown capability of uh, potentially being a, a starter and I know I'm not saying right away in his rookie season that he is going to just be you know instant impact instant starter for any you know for the Browns or any team I know you know they are Deshaun Watson but you know instant impact anywhere and I'm not saying for this year but I'm saying maybe in, in the next year or two if, going down the line if he keeps progressing well and he keeps showing promise and showing progression in his game there's no question teams are going to look at him as potential suitor to be maybe their next their next guy if they're not you know lucky enough to have a top pick in the, in one of the year's drafts uh, next year of course the top two quarterbacks are Drake May and Caleb Williams if you know if you want to do short term and look at one year later from the draft or less than one year later for the draft and teams aren't fortunate enough to get one of those two top two guys is there a chance that they could take the nod to getting uh or trying to trade for Thompson Robinson? And it's very unfortunate because I think the Browns, I think, hit, like, you know, struck gold with this pick. And it's it's unfortunate for them that, I want to say unfortunate, well, how you want to view it, with Deshaun Watson. Because it, it, for some reason, if for whatever reason, if it does not work out this year, you're stuck with them regardless. If you look at um, Deshaun Watson's contract for the rest of it, the remainder of his, of his career, for this upcoming season, it is at $19 million for this year. Not horrible. That's fantastic for a starting quarterback. But when you look at the rest of it, it averages out to, for right now, $63.9 million, just under $64 million per year. That's going to wreck the team. And unfortunately, they are stuck with Deshaun Watson, regardless if he, if he, if he plays horrible like he did last year to start off with. You're stuck with him. No team, is, I don't think, is really going to bite on this contract and give you an opportunity to get out under him. So you're stuck, even if you, even if you were tempted to, Again, worst case scenario, if it does if it doesn't work out for Deshaun Watson, you can't move off with you can't move off him and go to uh, Thompson Robinson. You you have to stick it out with him. Um, you look at the, the, the dead cap. The dead cap is it, it's insane. 
you're, you basically have to wait until the end of his contract in 2027 to get rid of him if the worst case scenario happens. But I want to switch it back to, you know, I want to shed light on that topic, but more so going back to, you know, uh, for other teams, trade bait. We look at Thompson Robinson's contract. It is it, it is ridiculous how low this is. You look at it in 2023, he's only making $835,000 on the cap. And you go for the rest, he goes to, in 2024, $1 million, 2025, $1.5, 2026, $1.2. And he'll be an unrestricted free agent in 2027, the same exact year as Deshaun Watson. So in 27, you're going to be, you're going to be losing potentially Deshaun Watson and Dorian Thompson Robinson. And if you look at the ages, Deshaun Watson's 28 years old right now in 20, this upcoming 2023 season. Robinson will be 28 in 2027 when he, when he leaves the same year as Deshaun Watson. And I look at this and there's still, I mean, if you want to say for a rookie, he is, he's, up there in age older at 24 years old he was a five-year starter at ucla which could help with the reason why he's he, that he's shown uh the flashes he's had because he's been a starter for a long time he's been with the college team for a while especially under chip kelly so definitely no doubt that helps and for teams looking at this this is definitely enticing if you look, again if you are not fortunate enough to you know, try and make a trade for a quarterback, sign one of the top quarterbacks in free agency, whoever might, you know, appear on that free agency list years down the line. Or like I said, if you want to do just looking at, you know, the short term for this 2024 season, if you don't let the quarterback situation you're in now, and you're not fortunate enough, like I said, to get Drake May or Caleb Williams, this might be an enticing pick to bring him in. Uh, for I kind of listed some teams, like, you know, just off, off the bat that I think they could, they could show interest in, uh, Thompson Robinson. The first one is the Patriots. Uh, there was rumors that Mac Jones is on a short leash, and they're not going to get a, you know a huge margin of error. Of course, Belichick loves ba uh, Bailey Zappi, but if Thompson Robinson is available, I won't be shocked if they try to, if they want to go after him. Uh, the other one is too is the Denver Broncos. Again, kind of doing the, the worst case scenario for some of these quarterbacks. Uh, Russell Wilson, if he kind of shows the Russell Wilson he was last year in the twenty twenty three season, that could be a possibility where they could go after him. Uh, far cheaper on the contract to build a team around them, give them the opportunity. Raiders, once again, right now they don't have a, they don't have a future franchise guy. They have Jimmy Garoppolo, but I think at some point you you, you kind of have to look to the future and find your actual stable long term option. Raiders could be one. Washington Commanders, we'll see with Sam Howell if it does not work out. Again, I don't see him having a top five pick in the, in this upcoming and uh, the upcoming draft to get May or Williams. So that could definitely be a possibility to to rebuild around uh, Dorian Thompson and give him the opportunity. Like I said, from, from money wise, it, it's it's insane how cheap he is. And I say till probably till twenty twenty five it is like it's, that's when you're probably gonna have to extend him. Uh, it, definitely, if he you know, if he went to another team and played one great season, he's definitely gonna be demanding a, a ton of money. Next one to Chicago Bears. Like I said, situation with uh, Justin Fields. A lot of pressure on him this season if he does not show that he is taking the necessary steps and you know progressing into his into the position. Definitely could be a place they can look uh, you know elsewhere. I know he had a great preseason one. Granted, two of the both those great passes for touchdowns were like behind the line of scrimmage, short yard passes. I mean, he did end for like what two for two, one sixty three, two touchdowns, but got pretty lucky on the, on those two passes. But we'll see how he does with that. Vikings can maybe if you want to maybe a year or two down the line, we don't know what's going to happen with Kirk Cousins so far. They seem non committed of bringing him back for right now. This could be definitely a, a, you know an option for the Vikings to go out go elsewhere again. I, they're not going to be close. I don't think I'd be shocked if they're a bad team this year. I don't see them coming anywhere close to having a top pick. So that could be a place. Falcons again with Desmond Ritter. We'll see how he does this upcoming season. And I kind of put the Rams with Matthew Stafford just being up there in age. I think he can fit in really well with Sean McVay's system, especially having that mobility uh, part of it, you know, part of his game. And kind of being the, the now modern day prototypical quarterback of having, you know, being able to move around the pocket, be mobile, um, you know, obviously, you know, the, the, the runs, the running game part of it. And of course, no doubt being able to throw the football. So for right now, he, he has that. And I view it as a similar situation as the New England Patriots back in 2014 when they drafted Jimmy Garoppolo in the second round. 
had him for a few years. And after that, in 2017, they gave up. They traded him for a second round pick. Probably could have got more, but they traded for a second round pick for him. Similar situation like I see for Dorian Thompson Robinson. The, the Cleveland Browns have their clear cut starter in Deshaun Watson and have potentially have maybe a another potential future uh, QB1 be sitting behind their franchise guy in Deshaun Watson. This could be a situation where they can just sit back and they can get they can get assets from him. Uh, at least for right now, I can see for trade value, maybe a tad bit high. Uh, you know, a, a third round pick, maybe pushing a second round pick in a few years. Uh, if a team's really, really, really desperate, uh, maybe that, that jumps all the way to a first round pick, a late first. Like I said, it's, this might be a situation where if a team needs a quarterback and they're, you know, they're picking pretty far back in the draft, it's. A first round pick could be out of the question. I mean, I, I, it's highly unlikely, but I kind of look at more so a third round pick, second round pick around that range. But I think the Cleveland Browns are in a you know in a great situation with Robinson. For and what I've seen so far, he he's flashed. I mean, he's he's definitely been I think one of the for right now one of the, the big steals in this 2023 draft. And size wise too, isn't too far off. I mean, he's 6'2", 205. You look at you compare it to Deshaun Watson, 6'3", 223. So, I mean, weight-wise, there is definitely a, a decent gap in between, 18 pounds less. But overall, I think for size-wise, for you know, for 6'2", 205, I think that's that's good. I think no doubt Robinson can put you know a few more pounds on, maybe push 210. But no doubt, I think uh, you know from what what we've seen right now, Dorian Thompson Robinson has been amazing. He he has, and I, again, I don't want to try and overreact, and maybe this whole video kind of comes off as just you know putting too much praise on him too early, but I kind of see a guy who, who definitely can step in and potentially be a future franchise quarterback for somebody if he can keep progressing the way he is. Now, no doubt the big, you know, a, a big test is going to see for looking at more so if he was more so being with the, the starting group. I think that's kind of more of a, a a tail sign of that if he was, you know, with the starting team and shows more, more of that and see how he plays. If he continues being that, you know, more and more with the starting group. No doubt that really helps the case when I'm making maybe what other people are saying. But if he struggles with it, then you can kind of go back to, well, he was just balling out against, you know, backups, third stringers. And that could be the case. But I think for right now, it's not too out of the qu too far off the question of, is Robinson a franchise guy? And I'm not saying for this year, but maybe a year or two or three years down the line, you could see his name pop up as a, as a potential trade candidate for a team looking for the next guy. But I'm, kind of, I'm going to kind of keep wrap it up here. Well, my thoughts on it again. Let me know your thoughts on on Dorian Thompson Robinson. Do you think that he could potentially be a franchise guy for someone, or is this just you know another rookie that's just uh, taking advantage of the situation, facing third stringers and just having his his moment and not getting the you know welcome to the NFL part of it? But let me know your thoughts down below if you do believe Thompson Robinson could potentially be a good to great quarterback in the NFL in the near future. But with that being said, thank you for watching. I'll see you next one.